Winter here and we are on Zoo Crafting. Welcome back. Now I have been working really hard and I know you guys have probably noticed that um, we didn't have an episode on Sunday and that's because a lot of things have been going on here. Oh, my diamond armor is so almost broken. Look at that, it's so sad. My pants actually already broke. And um, we streamed this morning. Today is Wednesday when I'm recording this. Um, and we made some, iron, we enchanted some iron leggings and we made a new bow with power and breaking an infinity. So we have an amazing bow now. But um, I've done some work and today uh, I finished the workroom. The workroom walls are all finished. It's amazing, it's nice. We have to light up in here still. We need to take some carpenter blocks, I think, and, and put some glowstone in here. Um, why don't we do that really quick? Uh, so we're gonna take our carpenter blocks, which are, ooh, we're running low on carpenter blocks, so we have to make some more. Um, and glowstone, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and glowstone, which is there. Wow, we're gonna get that glowstone. All right. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna stick this in a few places. Like, I think maybe right here we need one. Let's do that right there. So we're gonna stick a carpenter block, carpenter block, glowstone, and then, hold on. Let's stick this on top. Boop. That's nice. Uh, can we do it over here too? Oh, we can't. That sucks. Um, hmm. How about right beside the, there. This is a good spot too. So we're gonna stick it there. Bam. And bam. And we can also do it down here too. So we're gonna take this one right here. Stick one right there. Nice. We'll do one over here too. I think. I really like working with carpenter blocks, honestly. I think they're really nice because you can make them look like anything. Um, we're gonna work with carpenter blocks a lot today, I think. Okay, so let's do the opposite corners of those. So right here maybe. Down and then over here. We shouldn't need too much because there are glowstone pieces in the floor lighting it up a bit. And right there in the middle. So it kind of adds some light to the room. Um so that's nice. Uh, we'll do more there later. Um, also, I have been working in the aviary. Uh, I've got the tunnel down there carved. We were working on that in the live stream today. We carved down to the aviary. Notice the walls have not been done yet because we need more marble. And I was basically working on the pattern for the aviary. So basically I started with a tiny circle because I noticed we're doing a lot of circles here. And then it goes over to other uh, circles. And if you look up in the mini map in the upper right hand corner, there's gonna be more, more going that way. And that way, and we basically, um, we're cubing off these little areas, and this is gonna be the aviary. There's actually gonna be dirt that goes up to this here, this level right up here, and it's gonna go up higher. But these are gonna be right here as little places where you can look in and look in the aviary and see all the different birds. I didn't realize it was gonna be this big though. So our eight birds are gonna have some super large places to rock out. So that's kind of cool. So some of our larger birds are gonna be pretty happy, I think. But we were gonna do a habitat anyway, and not tiny little things, but we have it, I have it set up so there'll be windows in all four sides, so we'll be able to look in on them, but they'll still have a little bit of privacy because it's it's a pretty big area. So, pretty excited about that. I like how this looks. Uh, we're gonna have some hidden doors too, because I got the, I like that idea from Nasia. So there's gonna be oh, rooms over here too. Um, it's just taking me a lot of time to carve this out. So we're gonna have a hidden door here. I don't know if we can make a hidden door really quick. Let's plop down a crafting table. So let's look at the carpenter blocks really quickly. Carpenter. So we need to make a door maybe? Yeah, I think a carpenter's door. So okay. Do we have six? We do not. So how do we make a carpenter's block again? Okay, we're gonna do that really quick. Let's make some more carpenter blocks. There we go. We've got like 30 now. So that's awesome. So we're gonna make a carpenter's door. We're gonna actually make two of these, I think. Okay, can we um, chisel these to make them look different? I don't know. 
No, you can't. Okay, so we're gonna stick one of these right here. And then one on the inside right here. All right, that works for me. So these are gonna be our little, little secret doors. And now around this door is gonna be some marble. And I think actually we got a present too because I ran out of all the marble that I found when I was live streaming today. But I was just coming upstairs and <laughs> getting ready to record when I found this right here. I wasn't sure if you still needed this. Pavo, and it's more marble. So Pavo, you are my favorite person today because I always need marble. If anybody in the server ever has any marble, I will gladly take it off their hands because we use a lot of marble here. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how this is going to look, sort of. I think. How I think it's going to look. So basically around the door. I don't know if it's going to let me carve around the door. I think it will. It will. It lets me carve around the door. That's kind of neat. And like that. That's our little hidden door right there. Isn't that kind of cool? That's amazing. I like our little hidden doors. <laughs> and these will be actually like uh, the bricks right here. So it'll look more like this. And then we'll have glass right here. But still, that looks super cool, I think. At least I think so. <laughs> this is my design. It's, it's silly. It doesn't have to make sense, but it's mine. Um, so that's that right there. Um, yeah, that's the aviary. It's going to be a lot of work. Probably be working on this in some live streams. Uh, probably not Monday live streams. Mondays are now our retro gaming where we play Super Nintendo games. Uh, but Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning live streams. Probably be zoo crafting. Um, unless I can't work on zoo crafting, then I'll work on something else. But I wanted to do something else today. I wanted to um, work on something uh, for our workroom. And that is this thing. Let me put some stuff away. Yeah, we'll put some stuff away really quick. I wanted to see we get all these things right here called Jasper ore and not cutting station stone profit. No, that's not it. Um, hmm. Oh, I know. I know. Right here. There's this stuff Mossonite shard. And if you use it in a gem polisher, you can turn it into Mossonite gems. And then you can use Mossonite gems to make things like pickaxes and these blocks and like jewelry and tools. But we need to get a gem polisher. So I was thinking, I was like, we should make a gem polisher. So something not food relating, gem, food related, gem polisher right here. And what we need to do is we first need to make something called a support arm, which is you need to make iron nuggets and an iron ingot. So what we're going to do is we're going to put away this stuff really quick. So we're going to run out of inventory space faster than you can say anything. Put this away. Put that in there. You don't need those. And we'll just stick that in the bag. We'll put you in our bag. So we're going to need some iron ingots and iron nuggets. So right here, uh, we're going to make the support arm. Hopefully this works. We were running into some problems with some other things. Yes, it does. A support arm. Awesome. So now we also need to make a support uh, a support lap, which we basically use a support arm and ingots. So we're to make another support arm. <laughs> Ta-da. Okay, so we have that. And then we're going to make another one of those support arms. Oh, we need more ingots or nuggets. There we go. Wait. Can I do? Oh. <laughs> I'll take that. So there's another support arm right there. And then we're going to take this and we're going to turn it into a gem polisher. If this works the way it's supposed to. Yes, it did work. Awesome. I'm excited. So we're going to stick this gem polisher, I think... This is our food area over here. Um, we probably should put it in the opposite side of the food area. I'm thinking. Oh, let's take it right here. Look at that sucker right there. He's kind of cool looking. So, um, hmm. How does this work? Gem polisher. Do you use fuel? Is that fuel? Do you need oil? You might need oil. Let me look this up. Google, which you can't see. This is why I don't work in full screen mode, is so I can Google things 
while I am in a recording with you so we don't have to like do cuts because I don't know how to professionally do things. <laughs> Gem polisher Minecraft. Machines, gem polisher. This machine will cut the gemstone shards into the final faceted gemstones. It is fueled by any fuel and lubricated by water. Oh, really? So any fuel. Let's go find out. So we need water. Let's see if we can get this to work. Um, let's go get a, some water. If under the machine there is a water tile, the water tank will automatically refill. <gasps> oh. It uses an abrasive lap as a consumable. So we gotta have abrasive laps for it. All right, good to know. Might stick some water underneath it. But we're gonna, in the meantime, we're gonna use some water buckets and we'll get some coal for it. Look at all these Yuzu. We can like make so many Yuzu batteries. I'm so excited. Okay, back down we go. Let's make some, um, a, let's make some abrasive laps. Is that what we had to do to make it? A support lap. How do we make an abrasive lap? Oh, there it is, right there. An abrasive lap. We need paper, garnet dust. How do you make garnet dust? We need garnet shards. Okay, I think I have those. That I do. Okay, so we're gonna make some garnet dust. There we go, that should be enough. All right, put that back in here. Okay, so. We need garnet dust, filtered sand. Oh, basically we need sand to turn into filtered sand. Do I have sand? Let's see. I have sand. Oh, it does work. Okay, so we have some filtered sand. What else do we need? Glass dust. And we have to smelt things like an empty bottle? How do you get empty bottles? Oh, hey. Okay, so we make some bottles. We make them with tin in it? For realsies? I'm gonna make some tin ingots here. Check me out. Okay, so we got some tin ingots. Let me get some glass. Okay, so once again, show me how this happens. Wait, now go back. Glass dust, glass dust. How do we do that? Oh, really? We can just do that? Well, dang. Okay, we'll do that. Can I get some paper? Let me put this stuff away. We're running out of inventory fast. Put that there. Okay, do we have any paper or should we have to make, we have to make paper. So we're gonna go up and harvest our, harvest our, Words. I'm gonna use our words because I'm good at that. Harvest our sugar cane. I knew that word. We're gonna make some paper. Why don't we have sugar cane down in our. Because water. I don't think sugar cane will grow. Uh, did I break one of these? Okay, let's go and make some paper. Look at this, happy Halloween, Alex. Some cobwebs, pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, and a skeleton skull. Thank you, Alex, it's amazing. I'm actually gonna take this stuff. We'll eat it. I will eat it. Is that pumpkin soup? It is pumpkin soup. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for the presents. There's Sari's present right there, which I'm running out of inventory space. We'll take her present in. A little bit. We's working. That had to hurt. Um, let's put these back in our food chest. Food, 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 food. 
Uh, cobweb can go on random things. And that's a skeleton skull can go there. Crappy things. Okay. So we're gonna make some paper. We're gonna make some paper. We're gonna remember how to make some paper. Paper. <laughs> what? No. Really? We need rice to make paper? Oh, there we go. Okay. That's it right there. Paper. Yeah. Okay, so now we can make an abrasive thing. An abrasive lap. So let's make these. Paper? Yes. Okay, so we have some abrasive laps. Awesome. I'm gonna stick these in here. Awesome sauce. That is so cool. Okay, so now we need fuel and some gems, I think. Let's do, what else can be done in a, you, these things? Yes, we're gonna grab those. Those pink things. <laughs> That's a technical term right there. <laughs> Those pink things. Okay, this is coal right here, so that should work in theory. Let's go find out if my theory holds. So we're going to put one of these in there. Okay, that's the lap, I think. Then we stick the coal in here. And the water. Awesome. Can we put more water? We can. Okay, so now it has water. We stick that in there. This is working. Awesome. Look at that right there. A kunzite gem. This is so cool. I don't know what these are. I don't know what these do. Oh, let me look over here. Um, oh, that's for the output right there. No, the output goes there. That's kind of cool. So now what can we do with Kunzite? I'm going to take that. We can make it into a Kunzite block. We can make pink chains. That's pretty much it. <laughs> okay. That's kind of cool. We can make a necklace. Let's make ourselves a pretty necklace. I'm gonna make a pretty necklace. How many of these things do I need a pretty necklace? Um, like five? Should work. Do I have a string? Let's go find out. Um, yeah. Can we make it with like all kunzite? No. It looks like you need to make it with like um, all of the different types. So we'd need a sugalite gem, a rhodonite gem, which means we need, oh, a sugalite shard. Do we have other shards? Let me see here. What other shards do I have? Uh, can we polish these? We can to make amber gems. Um, maple diamond. What other shards do I have? Uh, we have an Alexandrite shard we can do. And Onyx shards. We got tons of those. Uh, Mossonite shard. We don't have a whole lot. We got a pretty Boracite right there. That's pretty. We mostly have Amber shards. So if we do an Amber shard, Amber shards can be used. Ooh, we could make uh, an Amber round. I don't know what that is. That's so pretty. Okay, let's go um, get some of these things. Stick them in there. I'm gonna make a chest to put in there because obviously we don't need these spare rounds. There we go. Na, 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 na. So we're gonna stick these right here. Still polishing away. Can we combine those? We can. 
Okay, then we'll polish this sucker. It's cool that it'll save it. So we have some Kunzite gems. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. A Boracite gem. Mossonite shards. These are the things that we can actually make tools out of, I think. Let's see. Yes. We can make... Yeah, we can make a pickaxe. Which is five attack damage. Or the Mossonite block. There's some different gems. Some tools. Mossonite shears? I wonder if they do any better. Mossonite sword. That's kind of cool. Awesome. This is so cool. I like this. I feel like stone collectors now at this point. I also want to put like item frames down so we can like... We need shelves over here. We do. We need shelving. For our different gems. We can polish. Is there a stone cutter? What is? What are these, some of the other things for globby potato? Hold on. It's almost done. Globby po no potato. Is that what it is? <laughs> it's a great name. Okay, so we've got that. Let's stick the Alexandrite shard in there. Oh, that's just burning up the fuel, isn't it? Alexandrite uses the fuel. Okay, so that is a constructor, whatever that is. Storage. Some more blocks. Those are kind of cool. 15. Okay, here we go. There's a chemical extractor, a stone prospector. What is that? There's a gem polisher. Cutting station. This is I've seen a lot too. We should honestly make this, work on making this. So we need to make a logic chip with paper, redstone, and gold. Okay. What is that? A pawn shop? Oh, gross pawn shop. Brick carver. Cutting station. So stone, a support lap, and some arms. So I think we're going to do that next time. Oh, look at these stones. They're so pretty. Alexandrite gems. What can we do with them? Okay, let's, let's put the onyx in there. We can make an Alexandrite block, and that's pretty much it. Oh, well, that's nice. So I think that's kind of cool, an onyx gem. I think that's what we're going to call it for today. Um, I'm going to put some shelving in here so we can store some of our stones. Um, like if you guys have liked this video, leave me some comments down below and I will see you guys next time in zoo crafting. Bye bye.